You are not Ice Cube, and you are not bringing receipts to expose Diddy for pressuring his kids to be like him. It is now common knowledge that Diddy has been a subject of scrutiny over the course of the previous several months, and that the federal government has initiated an official inquiry into the matter. You may want to bring his son Christian Combs into the discussion since he was just sued by a lady for allegedly assaying her. Christian Combs is the beneficiary of this lawsuit. That is utterly insane that the father and son are being sued for this act. Isn't that correct? On the other hand, Ice Cube claims that we really shouldn't be that surprised since Diddy is said to have placed his kid in the position of doing it. Imagine this. A music mogul who is recognized all over the globe and who is cherished by many people is surrounded by a scandal that has the potential to tarnish his reputation for all time. It is not about releasing a new record or making a dazzling appearance at an award ceremony that we are discussing. Instead, we find ourselves going deeply into the murky waters of severe claims involving assault charges against none other than Diddy, better known as Sean Combs and his kids. These allegations include assaults that have been committed against Diddy. As soon as Ice Cube makes the decision to shed light on such weighty allegations, the whole globe sits up and continues to listen. But what exactly is going on at the core of this debate that has received a lot of attention? Prepare to have the veil peeled back on one of the scandals that has received the most attention in recent times. Put on your seatbelts, we expect you to do so. This voyage through the claims that have been made against Diddy, which is made possible by Ice Cube's admissions and unique insights, is going to be anything from average. One of the most influential figures in the world of music, Ice Cube, who is known for his innovative music and outspoken social criticism, has just made a serious claim. He asserts that Diddy and his offspring are heavily involved in topics that are far different from the beautiful lifestyle they often lead, and that these instances include violence. According to Cube, this phenomenon is not a singular occurrence but rather a concerning pattern of conduct that has been seen. Cube's bold expose reveals that Diddy's boys were involved in drugging women, photographing victims without their knowledge, and committing a series of crimes that are as frightening as they are repulsive. Considering that Ice Cube, a prominent person in the entertainment industry, has brought these concerns to light, the claims take on a weight that is difficult to dismiss. Following the dramatic claims that were made, the legal apparatus immediately went into action. Diddy and his children have been the subject of many lawsuits, which have paint a terrible image of them. Women who have come forward with terrible accounts of being drugged, attacked, and recorded have disclosed that they were not aware of these actions nor did they give their agreement to them. As a result of the beginning of a federal investigation into possible accusations of sex trafficking against Diddy, the situation has taken a more ominous turn. A full investigation is being conducted, which may have significant legal repercussions for the music entrepreneur and his family. This is not just about destroying a name. It is a comprehensive investigation. The audacious words made by Ice Cube shed light on a more fundamental and systemic problem that is now at play, which is a persistent pattern of manipulation and twisted conceptions of masculinity. According to Cube, Diddy is not only accused of having a direct role in these attacks, but he is also engaged in the act of coercing others, including his kids, into performing similar crimes in order to prove their manhood. From what Cube has described, this toxic masculinity is a factor that leads to a cycle of abuse and manipulation that has far-reaching effects that extend beyond the victims who are directly affected by it. To have a complete understanding of the claims that have been made against Diddy, it is necessary to go into the past. Instances in which Usher and other individuals associated with Diddy's inner circle have been involved provide evidence of a problematic history of abuse and manipulation. These earlier occurrences, when considered through the lens of the current charges, provide a frightening image of a culture of abuse and impunity that seems to have developed around Diddy and his colleagues. This cultural environment appears to have been fostered by the current allegations. The history presented here is not just a collection of individual occurrences. Rather, it may be symptomatic of a more fundamental and widespread problem. The accusations that have been made against Diddy and his sons which have been thrown into glaring focus by Ice Cube's exposes, are more than simply fodder for the tabloids. Not only do these allegations have the ability to ruin the legacy of a family, 
but they also have the potential to throw light on the more shady aspects of the music business. As we struggle to come to terms with these disclosures, the conversation will inevitably turn to more general concerns around power relations, masculinity, and the persistence of cycles of violence and manipulation. A far bigger discussion on accountability, ethics, and the duty of individuals in positions of power is taking place, and the court fights, federal investigations, and public uproar are only some of the aspects surrounding this issue. In spite of the fact that the whole truth and scope of these charges have not yet been revealed, one thing is very clear. This story has ignited a discourse that is critically important about abuse, manipulation, and the murky elements of celebrity.